This case is colder than an ice cube in Antarctica. There's a bad guy out there, and we're gonna catch him. What if it's not a guy? What do you mean? You think we stole the cake? Am I right? Maybe. They say that most crimes are committed by people who the victim knows. So? So? Why don't you ask your girlfriend what she was doing when the cake went missing? Brooke and I had lunch. We were together the whole time. What about the others? Jason! Just the boy I was looking for. What's up, sir? Want my cake recipe? Funny you should mention that. I've just got off the phone with a very upset young woman called Dolores. It seems she baked you a cake. I told you. My coach loves the sound of his own voice. He went on and on. Even so, he shouldn't have made you late for class. Well, he didn't. Not really. What happened? I made a slight detour. Where? To the change room. To try on the new uniform. Any witnesses? No. That's very convenient. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Hey, the bull! Working on your next article? The deadline's tomorrow. The editor said I needed to quote more references. I don't see why you're trying to impress her so much when she didn't even show up on time to the meeting the other day. I might have exaggerated a bit about that. Exactly. How much did you exaggerate? I left before she arrived. To go where? I'd rather not say. Why not? I just wouldn't, okay? If you change your mind, you know where to find me. I can give you protection. From what? If you don't know, I can't tell you. <laughs> Charlie's alibi leaks like a sieve. Same with Maddie's, but they're my friends. They'd never hurt me. Brooke! What's going on? Yeah, what's with all the questions? It's like you think we stole the cake. You do think we stole the cake. How could you? You didn't tell the whole truth, so I started to wonder what you were hiding. Okay, if you must know, I left the meeting early because I went to the sick bay. Oh. Mum must have put prunes in my music or something. <sighs> I don't need to tell you what happened next. <laughs> It wasn't something I really wanted to talk about. Though, if you really want to know all the details... No! No. And what about you, Maddie? Like I told you, I tried on the new uniform. Help! Someone help! Help! But the store lock got jammed and I was stuck in there for ages, banging and yelling. You expect us to believe you got stuck in the toilet? I have a witness. Who? The coach. He let me out. Mr. Vandenberg came into the girls' change room to rescue you? It was so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so you both have witnesses. But that still leaves Jess. That leaves me what? As a suspect, you said you were in the textile room when the cake went missing. Did anyone see you? Miss Nixon, she helped with my assignment. Happy now? I know you're upset about the cake. But we're your friends. It's completely ridiculous to think we'd steal it. You'd better drop this, Brooke. I don't like what it's doing to you. And that voice? It's crazy. Charlie's right. Stop talking like that. OK, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. If it doesn't work, I'll drop it. I promise. Why are we here? To recreate the crime. What will that do? I'm hoping it'll jog our memories. Stand where you were during class. So it went like this. All right, everybody, time's up. Miss Nixon told us what was going to happen after lunch. Then you all saw the cake for the first time. Then we all left the room for lunch. Charlie, Maddie and Jess went off, while Taylor and I had lunch. Meanwhile, 
The other suspects were occupied in various ways. Crystal had her legs waxed. Caitlin was on yard duty. The blockheads had detention. That's it. Now think. Did you see anything else? Anything I didn't mention? Sorry. The girls will be at Webb's. How about we go down there and buy them all the milkshakes they can drink to say sorry? <laughs> sure. Oh, hello, girls. No cakes today? No, Mr Benson, not today. Are you feeling OK now, Mr Benson? Yeah, why? Oh, Miss Nixon said you were sick. Oh, it wasn't me. It was Butler. And a tummy ache. Must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. You know, for a dog, he's such a pig. <laughs> Poor boy. Glad you're feeling better now, Butler. was a bit too hard on Brooke. She's pretty upset about the cake. But doesn't give her permission to go sneaking around investigating us. Right. If she thought we had anything to do with it, she should have just asked us. Hello? It's Brooke. She says she knows what happened. What's this? Dog hair. What's dog hair got to do with who took your cake? Remember Mr Benson was outside the food tech room when we left for lunch? Well, Mr. Benson took a look inside, but he forgot to close the door. It turns out the butler loves cake. So both those hairs belong to butler? Right. Butler went into the food tech room and ate the cake. That's why he got sick. How come Mr. Benson didn't say anything? He didn't know. Butler was in the corridor when he came out of the bathroom. You're brilliant, Brooke. Guys, I'm so sorry. I guess I went kind of crazy for a while. Can you forgive me? I don't know. Can we? Yes. <laughs> you know, I've learnt something from all this. What? Dogs get split ends too. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something too. Always trust your friends and never leave a cake near a dog. Case closed. <laughs>